let's make a new shape and then go to the call out sections and then the speech bubbles are all down here so you've got the typical different types of speech bubble let's just make all of them so you're aware so as you can see the oval design is typically what you would have as a speech bubble like you might find in a comic and then with all of these you can adjust the diamond to direct where it's actually coming from the default color design is this gray with a dark gray outline for a speech bubble you might want to adjust it to have the fill to be just white and then the outline to maybe just be a black to give it more of a cartoony design that actually stands out a bit more in contrast and the same goes for these designs these are just obviously slight variations on the same type of shape what i will say is unlike with rounded rectangles as a basic shape you can't change how rounded this is you don't get a diamond here unfortunately so you have to just stick with the default amount of rounding so that's why i typically would probably just go for either the let's just get rid of this one i would probably either go for the basic design like this which is probably better to have more text in it so i'm going to add some text this has got a bit more of a generous text zone so if you want to add loads of text in here more like an informational sort of annotation you might want to use this but for actually a stylized speech bubble you probably want to go for this oval example That's something like this because this shape is oval it has a much smaller text safe area you can see i can only fill it up to around this amount so that is something to keep in mind compared to the jagged simple basic design like this